Alright, what's going on guys? It's your boy Demer to take you back to brand new video. Today's video we're gonna be going back with another YouTube video and I'm trying to go on a streak here with the YouTube videos and stuff like that. And um let's see if I can actually do it and I'm willing to promise myself that I can actually do it too. So today's YouTube video we're gonna be trying to do a motion blur kind of color design Fortnite thumbnail. I uh, I don't know what I'm gonna name this um this video, but we're gonna do something just like that. I'm gonna show a picture on the screen of what the picture looks like and we're gonna try to design like that. Um, I think there's a couple YouTubers that design like that. Um, a couple Fortnite YouTubers do it. Um, I think there's a YouTuber called Razor X that does it. All right, yeah. So there's a YouTuber out here called Razor X, and he also does this as a motion blur. Like, um, you can tell in the YouTube channels, like it's a picture of him just playing Fortnite, him just regular building and stuff. But he has like kind of like a blur to it, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that in this YouTube video. Super fairly easy. I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to do it. I'm gonna open up Fortnite and just get a grab a, grab a regular screenshot of myself um, building. Just I don't know. I, I'm not really good at building, but let's go ahead and try it. So like I have a regular uh, structure here, and um, you guys want to have your your HUD menu really, very small. So what well, you guys have to go over to um, the game UI um, setting. And it's usually set as 100%, but we're going to set it to 25% because uh, we're going to have to take a screenshot of it. And we don't want them the head menu to show up. So we're going to press escape and everything's going to look very small. So I just have a regular, like, regular stuff here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and, like, make a random selection on my with my edit tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and take a picture of this. On, on PC, it's a print screen. Let's go ahead and print screen that. And um, it's Windows print screen or it's FN print screen, whatever, which you can use the screenshot. All right, guys, we're back in Photoshop right now. So we're, right now we're going to set our thumbnail to 1920 by 1080. Either or you guys can set it to 1280 by 720. All right, so now we're opening up our template. We're going to go ahead and go back to the screenshot that we got from our, um, what we got from our Fortnite. So we're going to go back and open up our screenshot that we took in Fortnite. All right, so I pasted in our, um, our screenshot for we took it from Fortnite. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and resize it and then make it towards to the other corner. Okay, so okay. So this is our screenshot. We're gonna go ahead and edit it all up. Make sure that we make it exactly how other thumbnails with like how Razor X makes their thumbnails. And um, it's not only for Razor X. Other other YouTubers do it. I don't know there any YouTubers that that play Fortnite and they also do it. But we're gonna go ahead and try it out. So um, mostly one thing you guys can do is uh, just bring up the hue saturation tool um how you guys pull it up is by using Control u so um i usually just pull up the, the, the saturation up a little just a little bit and just move through the colors that you guys want another way you guys can do it is, is super simple you just go over to this toolbar thing and make sure uh it's usually it's usually the lasso tool but just change it over to the polygon lasso tool and we're going to zoom into our photo just go go around the fortnite character you guys can use the fortnite character if you want so it's fairly easy to use this, this Photoshop tool. You just um, left click, left click, left click, left click, or you can drag it all the way up. But um, I I just like to left click like at certain different points out of out of the out of what I'm selecting, just so I can get a precise uh, selection. And how to get everything connected together? If you guys can't see the the um, the selection tool um, line that you guys started from, just hold Control and press left click, and it'll automatically just select the whole thing and it should be selected like whatever part you guys want to be selected so i'm just gonna go with pink because that's what i wanted and there you go so um we go down to the bottom of the tool where the marking tools is at and it's usually the magic wand tool but you just change it to the um the quick selection tool and i'm gonna go ahead and resize this how you guys resize it is um hold alt all right so since you guys have done that you guys can just go and press Control u again and just change the color to you guys you guys are liking like um i'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it pink, make it match, and just use the saturation tool or the lightness, whatever you guys want. So now how to add a motion blur. The motion blur thing is so simple to do. You just go to up here to the, the tab over here where Photoshop's at and it says filter. Go over to filter, go over to blur, go into motion blur. And um, you guys can set it to whatever distance you guys want. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like at some at the instance where we'll be able to see it still. And uh, Maybe like 15 or 18 is like pretty much good. I'm gonna leave mine at 16 so we can be able to still see it and press OK. So that's how you guys make it. Um, you guys can go ahead and just add a, a PNG of Fortnite Victor Royale if you guys want to go and add that. All right, that's how you guys make the thumbnail. Super easy, super easy to do. You guys can add whatever text you guys want. You guys can make it whatever color you guys want, but I just made it pink because it matches my skin. And um, 
this is pretty much it um if you guys want to see anything on the channel make sure to leave a comment down below what you guys want to see and if you guys are new to my channel make sure to subscribe like the video if you guys if this video helped you guys make sure to give me a lot of support because um i do these videos and i just want to help you guys out in any any way possible i can so um yeah thanks for watching guys this has been your boy demo and i'm out peace out guys